In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a self-grading quiz using Fluberoo, and this is great for formative assessments in your classroom. I'm going to start by creating a new spreadsheet. I'm going to go to Spreadsheet, and I'm going to title this, so we're going to call it Quiz 1. And something new that Google recently added to uh, Sheets and Documents is add-ons. So I'm going to go to add-ons and get add-ons. And we're looking for Fluberoo. So I could search for it here, just type in the name of the add-on. Or since it's right here at the top of the list, all I have to do is hover over it and click free. And I've got to enable these permissions. And now, if I go back to the add-ons menu, Fluberoo should appear there. So that's step one. We've created our spreadsheet. So I'm going to close that spreadsheet. And now I'm going to create a new form. So I'm going to select Form from the Create menu. And we're going to title this uh, States Quiz. And I can pick a theme. I'm going to do the Espresso. And a couple of required questions here. We're going to put in question title. We're going to do first name. And from the multiple choice, we're going to change that to text for question type. And I want to make that required. And that means that anyone who fills out this form will need to answer this question. I'm going to go down here and click the triangle to the right of add item. We're going to do another text question. We're going to do last name and require that one. And the last little bit of information we would need, we're going to add in our text question and we're going to do email address. And I'm also going to make that required. So in order for this to work, we're going to need to collect this information from who's, whomever is filling out the quiz and now we can proceed to add our question. So it works best if you stick with multiple choice checkboxes and choose from a list for the Blueberry add-ons. So we're going to do multiple choice. So we're going to do what is the capital of New Jersey. So where it says question title, I'm going to type in my questions. And down here for multiple choice, I'll put in my options. So we're going to do Trenton, Newark, Edison, and let's do Jersey City. And we're going to make that required. Just going to add a couple more. Let's do the capital of New York. We can put in the options for that. And we're going to make that required. And so I can continue to build my quiz just by going down here and add item. And again, you want to choose multiple choice, check boxes, or choose from a list. Our confirmation message is going to be, thank you for submitting your quiz. I don't want to show a link to submit a response. I'm going to leave those unchecked. And the other thing that I would uncheck is up here, require. Uh, and it might say, depending on uh, your school or district, Require West Morris Regional High School District to log in. We're going to say no and OK. So we've got our title up here. I'm not going to really worry about typing in the description, but of course I could. And then what I need to do to make sure the responses go to the correct spreadsheet, I'm going to click on this responses up here. Now, normally it will create a spreadsheet for you, but we want to direct it to the one that we created earlier. So I'm going to click responses and go to change response destination. We're going to do new sheet in an existing spreadsheet and choose that. And then we're going to pick the quiz one spreadsheet we set up earlier and click select. Now the way that Flubrew works is first the teacher would need to take the quiz and fill it out and that's going to serve as the key. And you can't actually run it until two people fill out the form. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click view live form. Put in my first name, last name, and my email address here. 
put in the capital of New Jersey is Trenton, the capital of New York is Albany, and submit. That'll be my key. And now I'm going to close that. I'm right back to the editor for my form. I'm going to do view live form again. And let's just pretend this is a student. So we're going to say Steve Smith, S. Smith at WMR. HSD.org, capital is Newark, and we'll get that one right. So we at least have two submissions. Now if I jump back to my drive, I'm going to find that spreadsheet I created. There it is, quiz one. And because I connected my form to the spreadsheet, I have a new sheet here called Form Responses 1. We can see the responses, and now I'm ready to run Flubaroo. So I go up here to Add-ons, Flubaroo, and grade assignment. And Flubaroo is smart enough, it knows that these questions identify the student. And then for the actual quiz questions, I can assign them a point value from 1 to 5, or I can skip grading. So we're going to say this one is worth 5 points, and this one is worth 5 points. We're going to click Continue. I now need to, in step 2, select the key. So I'm going to select my own submission because that's what's going to grade everyone else's. I'm going to click continue. And now we're done. We can click view grades. And you can see there that Steve answered one question correctly. So he got a 50%. And I can also, if I collected the student's email address, go back here to add-ons, Flubaroo, and email the students their grades. So again, great way to quickly do a formative assessment with Google Forms and the Flubaroo add-on.